Hello, welcome to Somica's small ERP for trading companies Excel template. So here, throughout the tutorial, you will see our dummy data for better understanding, but you will also find the blank version in your file. Basically, the template consists of three main sections. Planning and feasibility section is where you can input all your products, customers, and sales data. And the data input section is for your sales invoice, purchase, and the stock records. And you can also track your payment collection. And lastly, report section will consolidate all your input and records by giving a clear result about your performance. Now let's see how it works. And before diving into the template, it's better to check settings part because this section is important for the template. So you will input your product categories, delivery status, order status, and etc. For example, after I input my product categories in here, for example, let's add new category in here. And I can see my categories from product section. So new categories appear in here because I already placed these categories in the settings part. So back to settings part. And for example, in the sales rep column, you will input your sales team members. And after you do that, these names will appear in the customer section. For example, right here, Johnny Depp. And you will see this sales rep here. So about other settings part. Start month is your planning date, which you can change as you wish. And the currency is just as an information. And here from this plus sign, you can expand the area for your settings. So in order to keep the consistency through the file, it's best practice to keep all settings together. So let's dive into the template. Product section consists of your products, which you purchase, stock and sell. And you will write your product name, product code, product category, which you can select from this drop down, and their units, critical stock level, and brand. And these sections are just for information purpose, but we highly recommend you use product code and the category for your products. And in the customer section, there is two important points, customer code and customer name. And again, the other section is just for information. And these last two columns are the unique features of this template and used for payment tracking of your customers. So you can also fill this area because, for example, this data is important for the payment collection tracking, which we'll see later on. And if your customer didn't pay its balance after this much days, you will see the warning in the payment terms in the record section. And also about this section, this ERP template has a safe limits for your customer balance. For example, if their balance exceeds these limits, you will see the warning in the payments report section. Sales targets where you input your product sales target for each month. As you can see, sales target starts on this date because it depends on your starting date on the settings section. And this part is actual sales that your sales teams close, and we will see our sales realization report later on. And product costs are important indicator for your profitability. It can be seen in a whole year or after you make your product cost assumptions, you can add here as your future estimations. And sales price sections will indicate your profit, so it's also important to define your sales price after analyzing your product costs. And lastly, as you know, fixed costs will remain stable throughout the whole process of your small business ERP. And back to menu. And before explaining this part, I want to show these three reports according to your inputs in the planning section. Our first report is financial summary report. And these are consolidated result of your inputs. For example, you will see your revenue, gross margin and net margin and their percentage. And secondly, sales target realization report gives you target realization after you input your targets and actual sales. Also, you can select your products in here and your product categories. And also you can select multiple products and multiple categories. 
and product profitability report shows our profit margin according to our product's unit cost and sales cost. And for example, some categories may be more profitable than others. That's why this report is quite important for our sales ERP. And you can see your products in detail by clicking these signs. And don't forget to click refresh button after you change some things because the template will be updated according to your changes. Now let's go back to the data input section and dive into the sales invoice report. This section is one of the most important part of the template because you will input your invoice records in here. So your products can be selected from these drop downs. So it will be practical and time saving for you. By the way, you can input your customer's invoice number and party number. We highly recommend you to input this information, but it's not masking of this section. It's optional, so you can leave empty these rows. So about purchase records, it's optional. If you would like to track your purchase records, you can use this part. So again, you can select your products, party number, HS code, expiry date, quantity, and other information for your purchase records. And stock records give information about your stock situation for each product you have purchased. After you choose your products, and party number for them, all other information will be retrieved automatically from other tables. An estimated stock days is for calculating how many days of stocks you have for these products. So if this is lower than the critical stock days, then you will see the rate warning in here. And last part of the data input section is payment collection data. Once you have received the payments, you have to record it for evaluation of your customers. So you will record your actual payments after you receive from customers. And again, you can fill these columns just for information. Now let's continue with the report section. So sales invoice record analysis is based on your sales invoice record. So you can track your sales invoices, for example, in this month. You can check your invoices and again back to menu, you can check for this one and see your invoices. And again, after you make some changes, click refresh button. And you can also see your product categories by clicking these signs. And you can see whole categories of your products. And about checking account analysis report. It simply shows after making the sales how much money the customer owe you and how much they paid so far. So this support is quite important. And you can select your customers, more than one, and you can select your all sales rep. And after you select it, you will see their total balance for your company. And lastly, you can check your payment term support. As you remember, we have defined the risk limit for all our partners at the customer section. So this report is totally devoted to customer payments. So you can check all of them from payment term support. And that's all. As you can see, you can integrate all the core business processes of your company with this comprehensive Excel template. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates from Someka website. Thank you.